Clyde Roberts. I live in Bedford County, Virginia. I was 104 on the 29th of October. I started deer hunting after I retired. I had to have something to do. And my son and my one of my good friends told me to, to, to deer hunt and to trap, get me some traps and trap. I trapped for 11 years and I've been hunting ever since. It wasn't old deer when I first started hunting, just a few. But now it's plenty of them. I kill one every year, sometimes two or three. <laughs> Do you hunt off of uh, the ground or ground blind? No, I hunt out of a tree stand. Straight up. For 20 feet. 20 feet. I killed my biggest buck last, last hunting season. It was a nice one. Did you hunt when you were a child, when you were a little boy? I hunted, I did. I hunted rabbits. We, we, we had put rabbits on our tables to eat. And we used to possum hunt. And sometimes we'd get a possum out of the tree and let him run again, let the dogs tree again. That's, that's kind of the way the way it was. But I worked till I was 65, and me and my buddy, we coon hunted a lot for 25 years. But uh, I'm still here at 104. Mike Roberts with the Wardburton Wildlife Foundation. And uh, this is a special evening. I've been hunting all my life and had some wonderful times outdoors. But the highlight of this year, as it is every year, is returning home and hunting with my father, who this year turned 104. Spent the afternoon sitting in a 20-foot tree stand with my father. Uh, got to watch him harvest two does, shots of over 100 yards right through the vitals. And for a 104-year-old man to accomplish a feat like that, it's been a fantastic year. We're going out this afternoon, this evening, uh, you never know, a big buck or a big old black bear may come by and and we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot again and and we'll see what the evening brings. So, Mr. Roberts, I know you've come out here one or two times before, but Mike had really been wanting you to come out and enjoy the cove and do some hunting with us, and I am absolutely tickled to death. I mean, be honest with you, there couldn't have been a more special time for you to not only be here, but to have the opportunity to bag this beautiful white tail. So tell, tell us, uh, after the coyote ran out and the doe came and you saw him come out, what did you think? I said, I said, y'all need it. <laughs> <I> need it. <laughs> and you made, you made what, about a 130 yard shot? Yeah. And a good shot too, right through both shoulders. And how far did the deer go after you, uh, after you shot? Maybe 20 yards. He took three bounds and piled up. Yeah. <laughs> 270 got him, didn't it? I, I thought maybe he'd gone. <laughs> no, but he didn't. I appreciate it. Appreciate getting him. One more. Yes, sir, one Thank more. Thank y'all fellas for what you've done for me. You've been <laughs> blessed. You've blessed me this evening. Well, and Jeb, Jeb and Paul, uh, we're putting in a lot of effort to try to find the right place for you to go tonight to have a good experience. So uh, I want to thank my son Jeb and 
Paul McCarty for all the work that they put in uh, of scouting and all that stuff, and they put you exactly where you should have been tonight. Well, that would be mighty nice. <laughs> <laughs>